In the post this morning, there's a most wonderful surprise package. Looked like that on the outside. With a postcode on the back that looked vaguely familiar. Inside the wrapping was congratulations on your engagement. Which is kind of nice, because I am trying to engage. Um, and the item itself from my sister-in-law, Leslie, in Cornwall. A slide rule. And you can't think of a more perfect present. Um, it's a school model, pre-owned by Ronald Clayton. Original box, even got its manual with it. Aristo Scholar. Lovely little box. And there's the slide rule itself. And um, for starters, I somehow caught the, when I was at school, um, I was about halfway through school when calculators were just, electronic calculators were first coming in. And uh, but before then, I um, had, had one of these at school. Great bloody clunky things they were that we had. Not as neat as this one. Um, standard Lady Manor's issue, Lady Manor's school issue. Um, but, this is a beaut. Um, and what's a slide rule? I hear you ask. Well, it's an analog computer, a mechanical analog computer. Coincidentally, I'm working on an analog computer. Electronic version. I'm about halfway through. Um, they were invented 17th century. Um, I think it was John Napier who came came up with logarithms, which is the key to them. Um, because you typically use them for multiplication and division and things involving logs. Oh, be quiet, dog. And um, so, I can still remember how to use them. Um, two basic scales you use in. Slider in the middle. And, well, A and B are the... Virtual focus. A and B there. And you have a logarithmic scale. One, two, three, four, that's pi, five, six, so on, and it's it squeezing up. A log scale. And, um... So, to do, let's say you want to divide 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3. First, the cursor. Slide that to, well, a level of the two. The slider first, so, so those are in line. So, find 4, 5, 6 with the cursor. 4, 5, 6. Now, that's right at the edge of what I can see. So there, um, where are we? I've got the cursor lined up with four, five, six, as near as I can see. And then I slide this one, um, other way, to my denominator, one, two, three, which is, where are we, one, Two and eyes. One, two, three. Again, right at the limits. Four, five, six, and one, two, three. So 
So there. So essentially on the top scale, focus, focus, focus. On the top scale, I've got it on four, five, six. On the scale below, it's going to one, two, three. And then, it's not strictly necessary, but I move the cursor to the, the one on the slider and then look up again. And there I can read off the value. Oh, oh, back to front, where are we? There, I can read off the value and three point, uh, between three and four, three point seven. Well, three seven. Um, you don't get, you don't get the scale factors in this. So it could be 37, it could be 3.7, it could be 0.37. But I know 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, it's roughly 400 by 100. So it's about 4. So what did I say? 3.7. Okay, let me check that on a modern electronic calculator, um, which is the one I had at school, standard Casio super fx fx 100 v uh four five six divided by one two three equals three point seven zero three point seven zero seven so you know um pretty much within three decimal places three three significant digits of accuracy and well analog computer um, now where the log scale on here is already done for you, in the electronic version, that's a log converter. And as you can see, well, you even need temperature compensation to get it right. Um, and what a beauty. As it happens, I mean, as it should come to no surprise, no surprise, I'd already got one, but only this dinky little thing. Like so. And this, this one I found in a local news agent. I was looking for, I can't remember what, uh, pen nibs or something, and right tucked away in the bottom drawer was, was some of these. Um, with the price in lira on them and um, the woman behind the counter hadn't a clue what she should charge for you know it's well i guess i was using one at school about 40 years ago and so she did the uh, conversion from lira into euro and, you know, it was about 15 quid or something for the damn thing for 40 years redundant technology but valuable to me and this wow well it's just brilliant i'm going to have to have a look at the um the manual on this because um i don't know if this one has it no there's no there's no scale on the back on this one this little one um this one has a has scales on the back well a ruler in inches and centimetres, uh, but then uh, the middle slide is marked out and I'm guessing, I need to read the manual, that that will flip over like so, giving you several more scales. Yeah, um, more log scales, so oh yeah, e to the x. Yeah, there we go, yeah. So we've got an e to the x scale there. Taking direct exponentials. And it's got scales for all your trigonometric functions and all that kind of thing. So, you know, I had that, if I was stuck, I'd quite happily go to this. Um, I remember get, getting this little one and trying to figure out Right, okay, so let's say, how, how do you do a square root on or something like this? And I spent ages looking at the damn thing until I happened to realise 
don't need to do anything really uh, say square root of 2 if I put cursor on the 2 at the top on the scale at the bottom there it's already calculated for you and um, the scale the scale below whereas the scale at the top uh, I should actually have used it's notated here as x on that scale and x squared on that scale so the CD one CD scale is talking about x values but it works out the same anyway um, oh, I could have actually got it using that low I think that's the other way up from the, the one I'm used to um, so I could have actually got slightly more accuracy than those three three places um, funnily enough a few years ago my dad sent me one except this one um, it's an engineer's version but a very odd kind of engineer's version beautifully made um, but here the scales shaft horsepower something scales pitch apparent slip knots diameter in feet per inches and knots and it's made by the Associated British Oil Engines Marine, Ashton and Blind. And so it's, it's, it's a marine engineer's one. Not much use for me for doing the calculations, but if I ever went to sea, This, however, beautiful. And thank you very much very much Leslie that's going to keep me occupied when I get back from the shops an hour or two's entertainment there definitely Aristo slide important note Aristo slide rules tooled from solid Aristopal Excel in measuring stability, sharply defined graduation and lettering, jerk free slide movement, always want it jerk free, proofness against water and high elasticity. Oh, there we go. And let's say where it was made. Hamburg, made in Hamburg, Germany. Wonderful. So, that's another analog computer for me. Thanks, Leslie.